Um, this recent project that you did at Danceteria, the Immaculate Consumptive, um, tell me about that. Well, that was just me and three guys I know. You know. Pretty heavy guys. Oh, yeah, big ones. They're big boys. Um, Nick Cave and Mark Almond and Clint Ruin. I just stumbled across these individuals one night at this horrible club, which I never frequent, but they were known at one period to go to and said, look, this is scram, running. Sam, this is not happening. New York on Halloween, is it a date? They said, hey, and we came. What, what ever happened to the New York scene? Which, I mean, <laughs> why do you we think I knew I so don't well. Know. It's horrible. There's no scene anywhere, so why say whatever happened to the New York scene? Why not just say everything is dead? Well, I, it seems like everybody here thinks that there is something going on in London. There's well, it's because they don't live there. They're full of it. There's nothing going on there. I mean, I think it's disgusting there. I've lived there for two years, and I've left my house about ten times. Really? Yeah. People say that you're a bitch. <laughs> Who says that? Merle. <laughs> I didn't say it. Merle. I didn't say that. You weren't supposed to mention that. Well, do you think of yourself as being very negative? I mean... No, I'm positive. Positive negativism. Isn't that a friend of mine? Positive we'll be on negative. next. Next. But you said before that you hated everything. You didn't have to repeat that. <laughs> well, do you hate everything? Well, that's rather general, Merle. Can you be a bit more specific? No. Well, no. forget it, then. Neither can I. I hate a few things, yeah. I just t won't take it shit. Can you say that? Yeah, you can. I just won't this take baloney. You can say that. I don't like it, you know? I don't like, I don't like the rest of the world. No, I like about ten people in the whole world. I'm sorry. Maybe you're one of them. I'm not telling. I'm working on it. I think I'm blowing it. All on right. Me. Well, forget it. Now, tell no. me about Exene. Tell me about the book with Exene. Yeah. Adulterers Anonymous. Right. That was poetry. Oh, was it? <laughs> Merle, you read between the lines, honey. Yeah. Well, I'm a journalist. I, have I to. see. You have a different perspective on the world than I do. No, it wasn't a book of poetry. It was just a book of junk. I mean, it was 100 pages of nonsense by two girls who had nothing better to do for two weeks in the summer. And they gave us money to do it, and we put it out. Do you expect people to spend money on that stuff? No, I think they should steal it. I don't care. I've been paid for it. I love it. How do you make a living? I don't. You don't? No! How do you, How do you, why do you think I have these guys, you know, hanging around? I mean, you know, they have to, like, go, come on, get out of the house. So how do, like, I mean, how do you pay your bills? And stuff I like don't. That? I get someone else to pay them. Why are you pressuring me into revealing my, the way I support myself? I want to know. It's fascinating. Merle, you just want to know because it. you want to do That's it. That's right. Forget it. Will you teach me how There's to be bad? There's not enough to go around. I want I'm you to teach you. me how to be bad. How to be bad? Mm -hmm. I'm just working on how to be good. I've just learned how to be good. What does that mean? I'm pure, and um, I am. I have very pure intentions and motives, and I don't do anything unless I think it's necessary. Pure meaning I don't like believe in trivia or pettiness or... Yeah, I don't believe in the garbage and shit. I only like the big things, you know, the real big things. Truth, beauty, love, filth. Uh, but truth, just, beauty, love. What about Phil? Um, I don't, I don't know anything about it. Now, you said before you were only interested in small things. <laughs> when was that? That was like... No, I'm only interested in doing small things. Oh. I didn't say I was interested in the small things okay. in life. The big things, yes, but doing them in a small fashion. Do you find entertainment or this medium irritating? For the most part, entertainment irritates me because I don't find it very entertaining. I find it annoying and stupid, boring and dull. Uninteresting. A couple of years ago, you told me that you believe in beauty, truth, filth, and not much else. Can you tell me what you mean by filth? Filth. Um, I guess filth. It's really so hard to define, isn't it? I guess more. That, to me, is what filth is. When something becomes totally extreme and intense and intimate, it's usually, I guess, filthy. That's why I tend to come in. You think of anything intimate as filth? Uh, not necessarily, but one thing can lead to the other. Uh-huh. Well, let's get on to a different career of yours. You did something really interesting that I'm extremely jealous about. You had a cover story on Spin Magazine with Pat Benatar. Some people are so lucky. <laughs> um, yes. Pat Benatar, what a wonderful individual. I mean, I won't, as you notice in the article, I didn't mention much about her music because I'm not interested in her music. But in, in interviewing people, which I rarely do unless they don't know I'm doing so, um, I find that usually because 
my obvious commodity is not necessarily my the favorite aspect say for the individuals that know me best mm -hmm. therefore why do I want to talk I want to, I want more when I'm talking to someone I don't care their art is one side of them there is so much more and when the consumer begins to realize that what you are getting is one tiny iota the art the document the after effect of what led up to a person becoming what they are so what <laughs> in terms of yourself what is your favorite commodity my generosity towards other people or? well just how much I give which is everything when I know someone if I'm going to establish a relationship with anyone it's going to have to be a very giving and mutual thing and I think that is my favorite thing in your work you give a lot Things. some people think too much I don't know I don't think there's too much